In today's video, I'm reviewing the Rose Technics Ceramics TWS earbuds. And if you want to know why I like them so much, stick around. Let's get it. What's cracking, audio fans? It's David here from Prime Audio Reviews. And look here, the Rose Technic Ceramics TWS earbuds. We're looking at a price of $29. Inside, we've got a single, I think it's 10 millimeter, don't quote me on that, but I'll say it, 10 millimeter dynamic driver, single driver. Now in terms of features, we have touch controls. There is no active noise cancellation, but we do have three different sound profiles. We do have a uh, low latency gaming, and we have Bluetooth 5.3. Now, let me say right now, there is no APTX, there is no LDAC, but in this case, it doesn't matter, and I'll, you will find out why later on, but let's get into it, that's the box. There we go, and you're probably thinking, holy moly, crikey, that is a big charging case. No, it's actually not. It is a case for the charging case. Yes, that's right. You get this nice padded case for the charging case. And remember, the price of this is only $29. It's a sub $30 TWS earbuds and you get a case for the charging case. Not only that, look at the charging case. It's pretty sleek, isn't it? It looks a lot like, in terms of dimensions, it looks very much like a Soundpeats charging case. And that is a good thing because Soundpeats makes, makes excellent uh, charging cases. But that's what it looks like. I think there's three colors, don't quote me on that again, but um, I've got this one, which is a kind of a bone or beige color. I think it looks pretty, uh, yeah, pretty sophisticated. For the case, you've got a USB type C charging port and a Bluetooth pairing reset button. And that reminds me, this actually supports multi-point connection. So you can actually connect this, have this connected to two different devices at the same time and effortlessly switch between them depending on your need. So that's pretty awesome feature to have, especially once again, consider considering the price. And I'm going to mention the price probably a lot because yeah, just wow. Rightio, let's get these little guys out in there they are, whoopsie. There they are, aren't they so cute? So it's not a stem design, it's the little earbud type, the little beans that fit in your ears. And in terms of comfort, they're really, really comfortable. I was actually wearing these like for about five hours today, I kid you not. And I didn't feel any discomfort whatsoever. Um, the, the included ear tips are actually pretty good, just I would like half a millimeter larger than that, but I could actually use the included stock tips, which is a huge bonus for me. But anyway, this is what they look like. And um, yeah, they're, they're pretty nice. I tell you what, man, honestly, just looking at the case and the earbuds and the, how they feel, how they look, I can't believe the quality we're getting here. Rose Technics have really gone all out on this one. So like I mentioned before, no ANC. Um, we do have microphones, of course, and surprisingly, the microphone quality, I couldn't believe it. It's actually very, very good. One thing, however, the, the mics do pick up a lot of external noise. So if you are in a noisy environment, it might not be as good, but in a quiet environment where I did my testing, Oh, I couldn't believe the clarity and, you know, the tone and everything. Very, very good. I'll give you an example here. By 6000 BC, Greater Australia is no more. One seventh of its land, about 2.5 million square kilometres, has been drowned by the sea. Tasmania, once a southern peninsula, is now an island whose Aborigines have lost all contact with those on the mainland. So far, so good. How about that? Now, there are, like I said, three different sound profiles. You've got hi-fi or high fidelity, you've got pop, and you've got rock. 
Now, I preferred rock, which is a slightly, maybe slightly V-shaped. You get a little bit more bass in there. The pop obviously emphasizes the mid-range and vocals a little bit, whereas the high fidelity mode does your sort of uh, typical chi-fi boosted up a mids, cutting out some bass, whatnot. But you've got three different profiles. That's very good. There is no app support, but having those three different modes is uh, a big step. So let's talk about the sound. Now, the Rose Technics Ceramics, pretty gosh darn impressive i'm trying not to swear they are very impressive when it comes to audio quality they are not as bassy or as warm as your typical tws earbud especially for the really budget ones in fact it's very much what you would expect from dare i say something like moondrop sort of aria vdsf type of tuning uh, so you get really good clarity you get a nice clean bass but the, the mid bass, it doesn't feel scooped out to me. It didn't feel like there was anything missing, like some Chi-Fi IEMs I have that experience with, where I'm just thinking, oh, just give me a bit more meat on the bone. I didn't find that here, but excellent clarity, nice spacious mids, very good articulation. Uh, even in rock mode, which is slightly V-shaped, the mid-range is not recessed. And then you've got, that doesn't look right there. Let me just move that. And then you've got the treble and the treble, the treble is actually a little bit lively. It's definitely not harsh. It's got no sibilance. It's not got no sharpness, but there is a bit of life to it. It does have a little bit of razzle dazzle. Um, I wouldn't quite call it a sparkling treble, but it is up there and it does have, uh, it does facilitate good detail retrieval and that perceived clarity which I was talking about. In addition to that, it gives the overall sound signature a nice bright tone. I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily call it bright. I would say it's fairly neutral, but overall oh, I just can't believe the, you know, overall performance for $29. These are doing a very good job. One thing that I did miss was the in-ear sensors and once you've had that, it, well, for me, once I've had that, it's something that I miss whenever I don't have it. But having said that, that will be a segue to my comparison, which will be with the Tent Gym Minnow. And the Minnow, I think, is roughly the same price from memory. It might be like $10 more. Uh, stem design, these do have in-ear sensors, so that's why I'm missing it on the on the ceramics there but the minnow here and by the way the reason I don't have the minnow here it's because it's in my bedroom because I've been using it for my nighttime uh, movie watching the minnow has a warmer sound profile it does have a bigger bass presence so if you are if you like a sort of more bass in your sound then the tangent minnow will do you nicely it's not as clear not as articulate as the ceramics uh, it's still a very good iem but when you feel the case it feels rather cheap the earbuds themselves feel fine but uh, yeah overall the the rose Technics ceramics they they actually feel a bit more premium than the minnow but uh, anyway that's about all there is to say i am super super impressed with these for if you're looking for a budget tws iam by the way one more thing battery life i don't know uh, <laughs> i know i know it's my job to tell you but i i just really didn't have time to Pull them out and see how long the battery lasted but i've been using these for actually like a week or two on and off and i've only charged the battery once i think and today i listened to these for like i said for four or five hours and they're still going strong so what else is there to say if you're looking for a budget tws earbud this is the one to get if you're looking for audio quality there are some others out there that might have a extra feature or two like ANC probably not a good quality ANC but ANC nonetheless but yeah as far as I'm concerned this is one of if not the best uh, you know budget TWS earbud on the market right now 
fully recommend it. That about wraps it up. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, Parfam audio file style. If you have any comments, like what do you think about the case, the earbuds, do you prefer the little buddy types or do you like the stem style? Whatever, got any questions, leave it down in the comments below. If you are new here and you want to see more audio content in the future, consider hitting that subscribe button before you go. And until next time, I'll see you later.